Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you today? I am good, thank you very much. Can you believe it is already the first Sunday of the month? And it's the last first Sunday of the month for this year. It blows my mind. Today is another installment of the monthly nail polish basket. This is where I randomly select some polishes to work on throughout the month. I'm also panning two polishes in throughout this monthly nail polish basket. Those polishes that I'm panning, they stay consistent throughout until I finish them up. But otherwise, every month I randomly select some new polishes to play with. I decided to do this after I totally bombed my first project polish because I ended up playing with my polish instead of panning my polishes. So I um, decided to do this this way. I can play with my polish because I have an extensive collection of polishes and I love them. I love them dearly. I want to play with them see what they look like on my nails, just enjoy them, and not just be stuck um, using only assigned, assigned polishes. So I came up with this to help me break up that monotony, I guess, if you will. Now I do have polishes in other projects that I'm also panning. So I do pan more than just one, you know, the nail polishes that are in this monthly nail polish basket. But this way I get to play with my polishes. It really has cut down on me just blowing off all of my polishes to play. And so this has really worked for me. I do like this. I do plan on continuing this throughout the next year because I have enjoyed this monthly, you know, chit chat about my polish and selecting some for you to see. Now, that was a heck of a long intro. <laughs> Sorry about that. Last month, it was another dud, you know? October was a pretty big dud. November was a pretty big dud. I didn't, I did not polish my nails very much. I am wearing um, one of my polishes. This is top the package with a bow, B-E-A-U. This is almost done. I'm having to dump it out. So I do not see this making it into the new year, which is good because this is one of my project polishes. So I am glad that it is getting used up. This is it right here. Well, you can see it on my nails, but that is it right there. The other project polish I have is this one right here. It's a Deborah Lippmann and it is Moon Glow. It is, would you guys like to see it? It's this beautiful, you know, kind of pearlized iridescent. Kind of reminds me of pearls. That is it. The iridescent properties does not come across on the nail wheel, but when you um, put it over a different polish, it kind of changes the look of the polish so it's really pretty now this one is right there i don't even think i wore this last month i should mark it while i'm here so i cannot see this being finished by the new year i haven't decided if i'm just going to roll my polishes in you know that I'm panning, you know, just keep it moving along into the new year or if I'm going to pull all new um, polishes for next year. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below. What do you think? Should I keep, because um, this one isn't going to be done, I know that. 
should I keep this in and keep on working it into the new year or should I just set this one aside and pan, pick new ones to pan for next year? Leave me a comment. I, I would like your feedback. So last month, I um, randomly selected choice colored um, polishes. I put some browns and some oranges. I think I put some golds in there. Just fall themed polishes and also orange for CRPS awareness. But I, I randomly, so I picked something that would fit the season or, um, you know, like CRPS awareness, something I was highlighting for the month. So I kind of like doing that. I'm thinking I might be continuing that course next year. Leave a comment. Do you like me just piling all my polishes in and randomly selecting or should I continue just pulling out some for the month that fits the theme of the month? Let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next next year. So last month I drew three browns and one orange. Now I was going to pull in an orange if I didn't draw an orange, but I did. And I drew Sally Hansen's Hot Tamale. This was an accent nail on my hand um, for one manicure, but I wore it mostly on my toes. It was the only shade I wore on my toes for this month. So I really like Hot Tamale. It is just a vibrant, you know, red orange, very gorgeous. Very beautiful. I like the formula. I do not like the brush because these brushes are thin and I, I hate thin brushes. They are so hard to work with, especially with a trimmer. So that's the brush there. It's just a pain in the tokes to work with. I like a wider brush. I feel like I have more control because I can set it down and pull the polish through versus having to lift and lift and lift and then it gets chaotic and sometimes I'm wearing it. And so, yeah, I'm not a fan of the brush, but I do like the polish color. Then I pulled in KL Polishes Taurus. Now I did wear this um, in one look. I'm hoping I took a picture of it. I'm not sure that I did. If I did, I will put it up for you to see. It is a beautiful kind of mustardy chocolate brown. I, do, I don't want to say it's a total chocolate. There's a little bit of yellow hue to it. It is pretty. Um, I do like it. This has a beautiful, beautiful brush. It is a wide brush. This is the kind of brush that I prefer. That one right there. So I really like that. What I experienced, and if any of you have KL polish, um, let me know down in the comments if you have experienced this or not. I um, had it and I wore it for multiple days because I haven't been changing my polish out every day. And it wore away. This is the second polish I have had that has, you know, just faded away on my nail. The color has fa just faded to nothing. And it hasn't peeled off it, you know, or flaked. It's just faded. It's, it's the oddest thing. And I don't know why, because I do put a top coat on um, the polishes. So I just don't know. If any of you have had that, let me know. And if you know how to stop that from happening, please leave it a comment down below so I know how to stop that because, oh, it's frustrating. This next one I wore is Send Hughes. I actually bought this in honor of my 
sweet friend Kelly over on Instagram. It is a brown polish with little micro glitters in there. I did wear it. I wore it with the hot tamale accent nail. I really like this. I think it is a beautiful, um, beautiful shade. Again, the brush is annoying. Then the last one is Chocolate Mousse by OPI. I was so excited to pull this and I did not wear it, not once. So I'm really bummed I didn't wear it because it is this beautiful milky chocolate brown. And I really love it, but I just didn't wear it. So those were the polishes that I wore. I did not finish any of my project polishes, these two right here. I'm still working so on them. So that was my experience with my monthly nail polish basket. I'm sorry I didn't have more manicures to show you. Hopefully this month will be better. I'm excited for this month. I have pulled in silvers and golds and blues and greens and reds and burgundies a whole boatload of different festival colored polishes. I brought in those, they're in this little thingy-majiggy. I brought all of those in to pull for this month. So I have no clue what I'm going to get. We've got mainstream, we've got indies in here. I don't have any minis. I didn't throw any minis in here. I don't know why, but I didn't. We've got glitters, we've got toppers, we've got, you name it, Lori's got it in this little bag. So let me draw four to play with throughout the month. I'm excited. I have a holiday themed stamping plate. So I might try my hand at stamping this month. It's the first time ever. And I've had the plates for a long time. So let me grab them. Okay, I have two. I'm not even looking. I have no clue what I've got here. All right. Okay. I have no clue. It's They're sitting right there. I don't, and I have my hand over them, so I can't even look to see. I, but I have to set this down, but I don't want to look. Okay, I haven't looked. Okay, so let's pull it up. I might have to put my glasses on, though. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Put my glasses on so I can actually read you the name. Okay, the first one. This, we're both seeing it at the same time. <laughs> this is Pure Ices Looks Like Rain. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It is this beautiful green glitter bomb. It, it has a it ha, it has a green base, but it also has green micro glitters and then silver glitters on there. Isn't that pretty? So that's exciting. Okay, here's another one. What do I have? Oh my heavens, you're kidding me. This is Gold Lame by Pacifica. This is such a gorgeous shade. It goes on very sheer, so this will probably be used as a topper quite a bit. Okay. Did I accidentally pull five? No, I didn't. Next one, I can tell it's a Deborah Lippman by the shape of the bottle. That is what it is. Oh, this is that rose gold. It's called Fancy. That's fancy. We're getting some fun colors. What? This one feels like a Zoya. If it is. Oh, let me turn it around. It is a Zoya. This is actually from one of their holiday collections. This is Lydia. A beautiful berry shade. That's exciting. Look at these. Not was what I was expecting. So we have a rose gold, a purple berry, a, a gold, and then a green glitter bomb. 
How fun. No, no reds, no blues. Wow. That, these are not what I was expecting to pull, but that's okay. That's what makes this so much fun to do. I am excited to play with those. Those are very festive. I will enjoy every single one of them. I will definitely do more manicures for you next month. But in the meantime, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite nail polish color is to wear at this time of year if you wear polish. I would like to know. You guys, take good care of yourself. Be safe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.